because I might have COVID. It's in my hand. What? Yeah. Thank you! First. I think that's it. 850? How much food do you think will fill it? That's a, that's a pretty big fridge. Yeah. And it's... Ooh. <laughs> but we were at this RV uh, salvage place. It's just a crap ton of garbo uh, RV stuff. Oh, our our RV needs one of these. The air button doesn't work. Here the cubby's well, yeah, gonna be. Three of them, but I mean, I got two for the truck. Yeah. Get a full size fireplace for them. Yeah, yeah, I think it's time to just get out of here. Like that? Yep, that's it. Alright, I'll check it out. Yep. That place was a success. There's a ton of stuff there. They have like five different buildings of just random full stuff RV. They have RV everything. I'll probably be coming back here before the bus is done. They have flooring, custom cushions. Uh, I have a fridge and a burner and a hover cart thing <laughs> and got a hover cart with a nice pair of swim trunks for $2.99 not I too think bad they were $1.99, $1 right? Something like he's that. coming to load up big thanks out to Bun Traggler's sober plus $850 later $9.50 with the burner Nine fifty with the burner. That's flipping insane. What do you think about nine fifty, Cameron? It's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it. Just arrived back home, and there was a pretty big storm that went on around home. As you seen the one clip, my lens is like weird. As you guys seen that one clip, me driving, it was pretty bad. As you guys can see, there's a ton of branches all over our yard a couple power lines fell down but we made the fridge safe but i'm gonna check out the bus see if uh we added some caulks see if that worked out pretty good and uh we got a nice salmon dinner wipe the feet off on the doormat before you walk in uh the nice new floor this right here is the window where it was leaking and looks like uh A tiny tiny bit see a little wet spot right there oh we can fix that just add more caulk around this window I added a pretty fat bead but gotta add a tiny bit more today back working on the magic school bus we are putting the kitchen together sort of my camera always does that it's stupid but we are getting this fridge installed that I traveled as you guys seen the last couple clips got that fridge right there so I'm gonna cut up a couple pieces right here and it's gonna sit like six inches above the ground so I can have a nice little drawer right there. Put all my nice little pots and pans. You know how I'm a cooker, so I'm gonna like build that up a little bit. So put some like legit two pans maybe. And uh, paper plates, stuff like that. So I'm gonna raise it up six inches and then right here where you see like it goes down a little bit, then it's like a line. That's where the top of the fridge is gonna be, then on top of the fridge and up are all gonna be cabinets right here. Store stuff, because I don't have any storage yet, so that's gonna be uh, really important. And then an AC, fridge, and then, not fridge, this nice sink right here, small, gotta get a sick faucet. And then I got this nice little cooktop. 
I wasn't even planning on getting one because I didn't really, I don't cook. I cook ramen, mac and cheese maybe. But uh, I thought it would be like a nice little thing to have just in the bus in years. Just to do. Excited to test that out. Then a couple things that are new right here. We got these locks right here. Just so when you're driving, these things don't fly open. Snack shop. We got this. I got these little feet on it. So they don't slide around. Just add a little clean look to it. I don't know why this leg's all crooked. And then over here on Amazon, I got this nice bride uh, little neck rest. So when I sit in my... Uh, Sit my bus. Raise it up a little bit. Right there. Sitting and driving like this. Camera and the bus driver. I used to dream of you. fridge pretty simple actually super simple and all they do all they got to do is cut a piece of plywood and we're gonna do it flush against this wall but I'm gonna wait for another day for that because I gotta trim this up or I'm gonna redo all this right here put a beam all the way through the middle put one there and uh, redo that so that's better for the bottom bunk and then cut a nice sheet of plywood right there and then all clean wood right there that should be it But since I've uh, just got a pit bike, I've been taking a little bit of uh, a breaks during work and just uh, pop a couple wheelies, ride around our little pit bike track we got, a little couple turns. But so far, I got the base done. I'm gonna wait to do the plywood tomorrow because I gotta take out the table and uh, the, all our saws. So it's getting pretty late. So for today, that's gonna be it. But one last thing, I am gonna start it up. And this thing's pretty sick that I got from my neighbor. And, uh, it goes right here on the ledge. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me do this right now. It's like this wood grain kinda. I think it would look sick right here on this little railing. Not railing, but like that piece right there. So I'm gonna put this. In. Perfect. I'm gonna trace. Oh, I just thought of this. Trace it underneath, and you can make it out perfect without measuring. So that would come out really clean. In this bus sign, it glows. It's a real sign. But we're actually going to start her up. Grab the magic key. That never came out before, I don't think. Uh, whoa, that beeping right there, that is, uh, the air just building up, but let's walk around her for one nice time. <laughs> I love the sound of it. It's not even that loud. Turn that fan off on low, I think, but uh, let's mess with a couple other things. That's the kill switch right there. The noise kill turns everything off so the batteries don't die. Always turn this off so the batteries don't die. Just smart. Uh, strobe rear light. Oh, 
That's the flasher one. That is going to be the end of this video. Right now, as you guys see, I'm on top of the bus. It's my bus. I don't care if I want. But see, not a bad day just messing around inside, cleaning up, building the, so I can get the fridge out of my bedroom in the back. So I built that. I got to do a couple of clean sheets. I'm working tomorrow with my dad. So Thursday, I'm going to do all that and uh, get the fridge in there. I'm just excited about this build. This is just crazy to do at 17 years old and 100% paid for myself. It's crazy.